It's the magic of math here, and today we're finding simple interest using the simple interest formula. Interest equals principal times rate times time. Here's our math question today. Paloma opened a savings account with a deposit of $750. She earns 2% simple interest per year on the account. We're asked what will be the total amount of money in dollars in Paloma's account after one year if there are no other deposits or withdrawals. So it's your turn. I'm going to ask you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see my solution. Welcome back. So let's go over what we're given. We're given that there's a deposit of $750 into a saving, savings account. So that means Paloma put $750 of her money into the bank for safekeeping. Then we're told that there is a 2% simple interest per year. So that's the interest rate that the bank is going to give her for holding their, her money. We want to find the total amount of money in her account after the time of one year. She's not going to put any other money into the account, and she's not going to take any money out. So we're going to use the simple interest formula because we're told it's simple interest, meaning it's a one-time interest payment. It doesn't happen every month. It's just one time at the end of your loan. So we're going to say that we're going to earn the interest is what we want to find out. And then we're going to find the total amount of money. So right now we're just finding the interest. P is our principal. That's the amount of money that we put into our bank account. Or if you're borrowing, how much you borrow from the bank. R represents your interest rate written as a decimal. And T is the amount of time you're either saving your money or if you borrowed for a loan, how much you borrowed it for. So we're going to focus on savings because we know that that's what we're doing here. We're savings. I just want you to know that this formula could work if you had a loan as well. So we want to bring down our I because the interest is what we're trying to find out here. And we're going to put in our principal, which is the amount we deposited, so $750. Now we need our rate which is our interest rate. So that's 2%, but we have to write it as a decimal. So we're going to take our decimal point and we're going to move it two spaces to the left. And that gives us 0 0.02, which is 2% written as a decimal. And then we need to multiply by the amount of time, which we see is one year. So we're going to multiply by one. So now you're going to be able to use your calculator on this type of question. And we know that anytime we multiply by one, we get itself. So really, we want to type into our calculator 750 multiplied by 0 0.02, which gives us an interest of $15. This is not your answer. This is just the amount of interest that Paloma earned after a year of letting the bank hold her money. We were asked how what was the total amount of money in her account at the end of the year. So she doesn't just have $15 total. She had put $750 into her account. So the total amount of money is our $750 plus our $15. So $750 plus the $15 interest means that after a year, Paloma now has $765. And there is your answer. The total amount of money that Paloma has after saving for a year is $765. And that's how we find simple interest using the simple interest formula. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.